Today's episode of The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown is brought to you by Jennifer C. at HomeLifeCultureLink.com, Nino Saimeka at MortgageGodfather.ca, and Jewelry Forever at JewelryForever.ca. Enjoy the show. Broadcasting live from Glenmore Record Studios in Toronto, this is The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown, your Sunday morning talk show with interesting guests, live musical performances, and the most fun you can fit in your coffee cup. Hosted by Scott Dion Brown and Regina Elena, this, this is, is The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 50, what is it, 58, welcome to episode 58 of The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown, and uh, it's good to be here, oh, what's going on, something just happened with the TV, it's okay, we'll continue, and uh, oh, <laughs> we just had a slight technical problem, but I think it's because somebody, uh, Somebody just hit the Chromecast on this TV, and it knocked off that screen. That's what just happened. It's so, okay. We'll continue. Yeah, we can still... I think people, we're still live, though, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, I believe we are. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to the episode. I am 
your host, Scott Dion Brown, joined as always by the best co-host in the galaxy, the one, the only... Regina Lena, happy Sunday, fun day, everyone, and happy almost, merry almost Christmas. Yeah, it's like a week away. Yeah. It's the countdown has begun. Mm-hmm. And uh, how was your week, Regine? It was pretty good. Um, still in recovery mode from my incident last week. Uh, yes. um, but I also watched Bromance. So shout outs to the cast of Bromance and MCBN for producing it. That's right. The... Uh... The uh, comedy. It was a, a few at a film premiere, mm-hmm. and uh, and I think you kind of you just sort of brushed it over it, but um, you are recovering because last last week, yes. Regine slipped on some black ice, yeah, and uh, damaged your tailbone, right? I'll I'll get through it. She'll Mr. Through Mr. It. Brown has brought me this glorious frozen pillow, so thank you, Mr. Brown. There you go. I know you're to help, watching to to give some lower <laughs> lower back support. Some support. Thank some you. Support. Exactly. <laughs> And, um, How was your week, Scott? It was good. It was quite, quite busy, actually. Mm-hmm. What did I get up to? I, uh, I um, coached. Coached. Taught. Oh, like I taught a class. Yeah. Oh yeah, I taught a class yesterday. That's right. And um, I know it was a busy week, but I kind of forgot. I, I don't have a very good memory with those things. But yeah, I taught a class yesterday at JDL School of Performing Arts, which mm-hmm. was kind of fun. They hired me to teach a, a drama and improv class. Oh, cool. Which was very cool. And um, I got my Christmas tree up. Oh yes, and uh, I, I'm a I'm a fan of the real tree. Myself. Oh, so we got a real tree, and uh, it's not decorated yet though. At least you uh, got a tree. Yes, <laughs> you have a week to put it together. Yeah, and what I what I like is um I'm always impressed by how much uh how much water they drink. Oh, like you you actually have to water it. Oh yeah 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 like so the stand the stand is like a little uh uh it's like a little bucket mm. and you pour the water in. And like it's amazing, like in a day it, it sucks it up. I guess so anyway, it's um it's gone, it's alive. Nice. It's alive and well. Um what else did I get up to? Well we'll we'll talk more about the about the week. Oh, one thing we got. See the on air sign, everybody? On air. Huh? It's pretty nice, eh? I actually ordered that sign October thirteenth or something. Mm-hmm. And when was our first episode? Like early early november November, yeah so it was but it it literally arrived like this week but i think it came from the other side of the world so i guess from china i think so yeah Mm. yeah i think so but um at least it's here now and it fits right where you want it to exactly it's here now so uh here we are and uh shall we meet our guest i think so let's meet our guest our our guest is a uh well he's certainly no stranger to this show or this channel or this channel Mm -hmm. that's true um, he was our very first guest ever on the sit down. This is his third time on the show. Yeah, maybe or, uh, or, fourth? or fourth. It might be fourth. Fourth time on. He is actually the most appeared guest on the sit down. That's right. And he's besides uh, the two of us, of course. Yes. <laughs> and he's so he's a great friend of the show, great he- friend of mine, <laughs> and uh, uh, he's a singer, songwriter, uh, musician. Um, uh, uh, what else? Um, cider connoisseur. Cider connoisseur. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, let's let's meet him, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Please welcome back to the sit down stage, although first time in this mm-hmm. studio, the one and only Siggy. Siggy. Hey guys. Nice to see you. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. It's uh, it's it's a wonderful to have you back here. Thank you very much. Us here today. No, I really. Uh, Oh wait, wait, wait! Sorry, your mic hey. was your mic. Was oh, on. I can hear now. <laughs> there, there you go. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> you know, you guys noticed uh, we're a little out of sorts when we got things started, just because um, th- we had a few technical itch- issues. And I am going to fix. There's a screen that we're supposed to look at that I, I want to fix. Um, Stop thinking which, out loud. Well, <laughs> but just just so y'all know. But but anyway, so that's why we started a little late. But we're 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 back up now. We're here. We're here. Okay. We got our we got our beverages. Oh, definitely. We got our, our beautiful morning. mug here. Oh, we have Siggy back in studio, and he's sitting next to. Uh... Oh. <laughs> yeah, you guys look for yourselves. Look at this. That is a Christmas, a Christmas themed cabbage patch, cabbage patch doll, which, and so, which what... we were told is wearing Scott's Chris first Christmas outfit that never yeah. actually fit him. Yeah, there that, you go. I used to wear. Yeah, there's a picture of me as a baby wearing that exact, <laughs> wearing that exact outfit. 
And uh, I gotta say, um, you really grew into it. <laughs> I grew into it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, a week later. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, well, thank you for having me, Doa. No, welcome yeah, I back. Appreciate it. And this is definitely no strange place for me. No. Actually, if you guys didn't know, I uh, when I moved from Italy uh, around five years ago, uh, I met Scott through another artist. And this very place was, you know, the, the recording studio where I recorded my first EP. That's so right. It's like... Uh, full circle. You know, it's a beautiful full circle today. Mm -hmm. That's true. We're, uh, it's... Uh, it's yeah, that's right. You, we met. So, in fact, I can't remember if we talked about where we met before on the show, but no, we should you tell haven't. people because the the way we met, it's weird. Was like <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> weird. I mean, it's that weird. is weird. Dude. It's weird in how like so. Okay, well, we should just tell the story. We met the first time we met as artists to each other. Mm -hmm. We had already met before that, but we didn't know each didn't other. No. <laughs> oh. I, yeah, I happened to walk into um, a bar where he was he was working. Yes, mm -hmm. and. I, I just had my laptop and I was doing some work and I was like, hey, can I come in here and, and, and do some work on you? He's like, okay. And then I ordered an old fashioned and you were like, and I remember the thing I remember is you were really enthusiastic. You were like, oh, I can, oh yeah, I can make an old fashioned. Oh, I know. I can make a really good old fashioned. <laughs> and you did. So you made me like a really good old fashioned. And, uh, and so that, that there was that moment. So then, so then I don't know how many months later. Or yeah. Weeks later, a few though. It wasn't. Yeah. Get a knock on my door. And so, no, so I guess you found out about me through a, a mutual artist yes. friend we both know. Yes, R&B artist called Desire. Desire. He's actually doing pretty good in the city, so shout out to him. Yeah, shout out to Desire. In fact, he, he was almost he was almost going to be a guest on the show uh, a couple of months ago, but uh, the, the scheduling didn't quite work out. But it's definitely, we're definitely going to have him eventually. Schedule, it's, it's yeah. one of the things you really got to have to... Uh, to think about it in yeah. Toronto. I mean, I have a big city, but it's yeah. part of it. If you guys hear a dog in the background. Yeah, Cujo, Cujo is, uh, Cujo's the dog. He's just outside there. He's, uh, he's a our security mas dog. <laughs> he's a huge mascot. Adding his voice to the show. He wants to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so he, he Desire, rec like, mentioned you to me when you were looking for a studio. Yes, mm -hmm. I remember. I was like... Uh, um, probably a year later, yeah. I moved. I was like an immigrant working, you know, full time every day, and I used to talk to him a lot. Mm -hmm. I used to, you know, kind of share all the dreams and and things that I wanted to get done in Toronto. And he said, and I asked him, so where, "Where do you record?" And he said, "Well, I know this guy. He does everything. He's uh, such a good uh, artist by himself, you know." And uh, I got his business card. I got, so I got your business card, and and you can keep going. And that happened. then. yeah, so then my. So you knock on my door first time. <laughs> Someone knocks on the knocks door. The door Someone yeah. knocks. And so right away I'm like, oh hi, oh you're Siggy, oh cool, nice to meet you. And as soon as I see him, I'm like, I know this guy. I know this guy. He <laughs> looks familiar. And, and it wasn't until it wasn't until like you had left after that first session. Actually, no, the first time we met, I think it was just a meeting. We yeah, talked it was about just like uh, what are you gonna do? What yeah. are you gonna do? This? And uh, and I remember it was after you had left, and I was thinking about it. I'm like. That guy made me an old fashioned. <laughs> and, uh, that, was, that was, but you guys can figure out how weird that that could be, you know. And then I ended up he, here. And if you guys are following my journey, then you'll see, for example, the Just a Dreamer video was recorded and shot it right here, that, <laughs> right that behind was, that, you, that, that right That's behind right. me. And so, to me, as, as uh, it holds a special place. In, in so my, my question heart. is, is where is your picture on that wall? Ah. Okay, yeah, I know. All right, <laughs> I told him. I told him you you're being racist against Italians. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm that just was kidding. A, that was that's why that's why everybody. No, <laughs> I just I haven't honestly the wall I haven't updated it in so like so basically the wall back there is all artists that I've recorded in this studio over the mm -hmm. years but, except for Siggy. Except for Siggy, everyone except Siggy. Yeah, but no, but but then I hit a point where it was like it got fairly full. Although there is still There's some space, still space. But it got I to can point... see like a perfect spot to put his photo. Yeah. He's missing your picture too. I've never that's recorded. <laughs> oh, we, <laughs> you are recording right you now. You are. That's true. You, you are now. Been. In fact, now at this point, you probably recorded more. You've been in here more often than most artists. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. But like, but so it got to a point like when I first started doing the wall. Mm -hmm. You know, I was very like, I was really on top of it. I was like, oh, get picture because I was trying to populate the wall. Yeah. But then once it was populated. It was kind of like once it came around. Well, it was like, just, I don't need it just by that picture. point, the the, the it didn't it didn't feel empty. Okay, well, do you have a photo of him from? Oh yeah, we think we did, right? Yeah, we we, we have a few. Uh, of, so where from, is from it? the actual <laughs> session? It'd be on my computer somewhere. I'm sure we've got it. it it's so it's coming, guys. Okay. Leave a comment if you want a, a picture of mine uh, hanging there. Hanging on the wall. I think he just, deserves. Just... I think you deserve one from the cider festival <laughs> on there. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was funny. That was funny. 
this would be fun. Yeah, that's right. We attended we attended the cider festival last year together. Yeah. No, not last year. Last in the last summer. summer. Last summer. summer. Yeah. Still waiting for that vlog. <laughs> oh yeah, I know it's coming. It's coming. Hey, speaking guys, of, this is a busy man right here. He is that's a busy true. man. There's always so many things going on. Speaking of uh, of YouTube and videos, we we just did a video together. On I my watched channel. it. Oh, oh, I had major FOMO. I was like, I wanted Tim Tam. <laughs> yeah, we. Um, in fact, you can check it out on my channel. It's uh, if you're on, you're, well, if you're watching this on YouTube. After this episode channel. of the sit down, go yeah. back to his channel and look for their eating Australian sweets yes. from a year ago. Yes. Yes. Like year, year old. Year old. Candies. Why would you let him feed you year old candy? <laughs> well. Did well, you know that it was year old? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. That was established before the. Uh, yeah. The before episode. we started okay. eating. Okay. Like okay, as long as they don't hurt. Yeah. Uh, Did your stomach good. hurt afterwards? Well, the, well I, I felt a little sick, but I think that was just the raw amount of sugar that was in it. You got, you ate, like, I watched you the video. Obviously, I watched the video. I watched the video. And you... I, I saw me trying maybe half of it Scott each time. Like, and he was, like, taking his... two, like, three yeah. at a time. So. By the time you were done one, he's already on the third one. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But he was saying he's got a sweet tooth. But it's like the cider festival. I was still on one drink, and he's like, oh, I'm on my third one. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I, well, those cider cups were, you know, they're not. Very but, small. Well, no, that's the thing, especially when we filmed that video, it was like, Especially in the beginning, I was like, "Oh, that's good. Mm, that was good." <laughs> and then by the time we got towards the end, like, oh, I was like, oh, why, did I eat, "Why did I eat two? Why did I eat three of these?" <laughs> but so, you were still but, eating them. Yeah, I felt pretty rough after. But but the, actually, the only part where I remember I was, I, I even mentioned to you in the video, I'm like, because one of the uh, one of the candies had expired. Like there was actually an expiry <laughs> date written on it, Ooh. and it was like four or five months before or something. And, and you I, still ate it. Well, I was like, I was like, hmm, this one's expired. It's I, for the fans. Yeah. So, so I was Do like, it for the views. Yeah. So I was like, uh, I'm gonna have a little bite, but but you don't have to have one because I'm like, I don't want to feed you. <laughs> but then you were like, no, oh, I'll have some. I'll but have I some. like watching Suki's reaction to it because he's like, oh, okay. I'll eat it. <laughs> I think I was was I mean with the with the votes? Like, no, was I low? No, 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 no. Was no. I? I think Although, I tried. You were more. Um, I think you were more strict than I was. Yeah. Like, you're more honest. Little, little he's just like, I'll be nice. Because well, like, <laughs> like more often, like if I was giving it a four. Usually yours was like a three or a three point or no like a three and then that's why usually so we we put them together so it'd be yeah, like that 3. was perfect 5. Yeah, yeah I remember like so, I've been half measures yeah. yeah it was great but it was good it gave it it was it was it was an accurate way of doing it again it a major FOMO on this end but that's cool yes yeah. um, I, I I'm gonna fix this screen talk talk to Siggy for one second all right so Regin so Siggy <laughs> I, I heard um, you're doing some I mean. I know. It's in, it sounds like I am interviewing you, but okay, go for I it. I wanted to ask Snow for uh, you know your pageant and what's mm -hmm. happening there because I saw you. Yeah, very so active. I won, as you guys know, back in September. I won the Canada Gal Miss Galaxy Canada 2020 title, um, and then with that, I've just been doing appearances all throughout Toronto, all throughout Ontario. Um, I've been emceeing a lot more with my title, so I'm taking all of Scott's gigs, um, which I don't think he really minds. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Yeah, um, share. <laughs> he's had his prime. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, just been keeping up and giving back to the community as much as I can. That's what we got to do. That's mm -hmm. what we got to do. Yeah. I mean, having a community to, to base your art and, you know, to keep you motivated. Well, mm -hmm. you definitely, I mean, you can do that, right? You do your page. That was your passion, yeah. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. But it went as soon as soon as you're doing something that involves crowds mm -hmm. or fun. Oh, I love it. I love it. Know, yeah. It just feels great. Mm -hmm. Like benefit concerts. Or, oh, yeah, definitely. I, is there a remote like somewhere here? Where is the remote? It's right here. Well, that's why. So it wasn't us. Okay. And, um... Yeah, talk, <laughs> talking community, I, that's one of the things that I want to do in 2020 and so on, is to actually provide, uh, you know, obviously to, one one of the things for uh, us artists, because you are obviously mm -hmm. uh, your own terms. My uh, own kind of artist. Yes. <laughs> um, is to be truthful to yourself, but also to define what is it that you're, 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 pro you're promoting and mm -hmm. you're providing to the crowds, right? So, and I think I feel the same way. I really want to do some more uh, benefit concerts and really give back to the crowd and yeah, and whoever is supporting this journey of mine. But well, we can work together. Okay. I well, think I guess we're, we're kind of doing it right now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, All right. So I realize what happened now. Okay, so, stop thinking that <laughs> well, No, I want to tell people. Okay. So this screen that we're looking at, it's kind of our monitor that we can see what's going on. It randomly just flicked off and switched inputs 
right as we were starting the show and i realize now it was because the remote did we turn it off <laughs> no the remote was sitting like in between these two cushions ah. and so we must have yeah we basically sat on the remote and switched it off anyways it's a live show it was everybody. you oh it was oh. mr brown <laughs> he's trying to test the oh i see okay it's all good oh, oh okay. he's okay. trying to play games with us down here all right we got it working now we're back we're every everything anyway you know what that's the back, beauty the yes. beauty of live shows right mm -hmm. anything yes. could happen and murphy's law was stronger than ever yeah right so now. if anything yeah. could go wrong it will and it did but back to our conversation siggy yes, yes uh <laughs> yeah, it's so very, benefit concert it is very important to give back to the crowd mm -hmm. and whoever is supporting your journey like I personally didn't really do a great job so far, I have to say. Well, like you're, a lot you're... of people like to brag and 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 say things. I I try to be honest with and actually find my own voice means also that because mm -hmm. I was always into music and writing, but the business side of it is such important, but it needs knowledge mm -hmm. and you need to know how to to relate to the people that are supporting you and. You know, and uh, you know, uh, one of the things you could do is really to to know what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. And even though we don't know what we're doing, we're improvising every step of this journey. It's good to you know rely and things like this. You know, the 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 screen is going like Scott is doing everything here. It's like it's just fantastic and remarkable that passion um, you know brings uh, you know brought us together even today, like just to to discuss these things. All right? because you ordered an old um, <laughs> <laughs> old fashioned bring you together. There you go. That's, an old fashioned did, yeah. It all so. began with the old fashioned. <laughs> I've never had an old fashioned. What is in an old fashioned? Siggy, what is in an old fashioned? Well yeah, I mean obviously there are there there's a traditional recipe but okay. either you could do whiskey and bourbon uh, you know these days you can do anything go really it goes by flavor obviously there's a street recipe mm -hmm. it's like even if you play the blues there's a one four five yeah. there's some methods so whatever you put in it's good then you put angostura which is a very uh, strong bitter bitters yeah yeah and then uh, you know just a little orange flavor either bitter or you use the peel mm. and a little brown sugar you dissolve everything and it's ready to go very simple but yeah. old fashioned it's very tasty and then, and then yeah you're right there are, there are a bunch of different like uh, variations on it as well so like i i've made before um like a maple old-fashioned oh yeah so you do uh you same do thing. have a sweet tooth <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you weren't kidding yeah but angostura butters and uh maple syrup instead of the brown sugar so you can do that as well and then depending on bars you go to there are lots of other different ones but um did you guys uh did we did we shout out people who have commented no we chat? have not shout out to oh greg has greg, greg got his watch yet not yet because i haven't seen him but uh, he will he will. Greg was the guy, of course, shout out to Jewelry Forever for mm -hmm. giving us that uh, beautiful watch to give away. And Greg Nagara, who's in the chat there, he is the one who, uh, who won. Who won. And uh, we will. We're, we're going to deliver and we'll take a picture together and, uh, and share Why it aren't out. you seeing him tomorrow? That's right. Where are we going to see him tomorrow? Where are you guys right. seeing him tomorrow? Man, it's been so long, Greg. I, I miss you, bro. I really do. So where are you guys seeing each other tomorrow? Well, Siggy, where 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 are we going to see each other tomorrow, and where can you all see us tomorrow? Absolutely, especially you guys. Yeah, um, we're performing tomorrow as a last gig of the year, 2019. Wow. Of the decade. Yeah, of the of decade. The decade. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, basically, at the uh, Horseshoe Tavern, which is a beautiful venue in uh, down uh, Queen and Spadina. The legendary yeah, Horseshoe. Yeah. Tavern. It's a place that's been open since the 40s, uh, hosted so many great bands that we all know, The Stones, you know, BB King, uh, everybody went there. And so it's obviously not the first time that we played there. And why a Monday night? Well, you know, holidays are coming. Uh, I really wanted to put a show together and it's holidays season. So I think that people want the party, even though it's a Monday night. Yeah, It's a free show. Uh, around 40 minutes set, uh, there are going to be three bands. I am, you know, I'm very excited about it because I know that there's a bunch of uh, people there willing to party. But also, it's a good thing because we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, see Greg for for for, <laughs> for, for one thing. Yep. So I haven't seen him in a month. I haven't and, seen Greg in a year. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The last time I saw him was our Christmas special. Greg. Oh, sorry. Greg. <laughs> come on, come back. We'll see you soon, Greg. We'll yeah. see you tomorrow. And um, no, I mean you know what we we played at the uh, under the band Siggy. We we played there together yeah, at, at the so horseshoe even before, at, even at the sit down we and, did uh, a session. Well, it wasn't all of us, but yeah. But I mean, but I mean at the horseshoe we played together. Mm -hmm. And the last time we played there, I think it was a Monday night. But there was still a 
great crowd there. Yeah, they're, they're just something about that place. It's just, uh, obviously, it's all an old-fashioned place, you know, a typical pub where they they know exactly what they're doing and the sound, you know, when you go to venues, it's always very good to see, you know, who's ready, who's prepared uh, for your requests and whoever's got the last moody mood. <laughs> It's always welcome, and they are, yeah. they're fantastic. It's just a, a well-established play, established place, and uh, you know we're gonna perform some new tunes. We're gonna perform some new jams. Obviously, like I said before, we're, we're I'm, I was going through a remodeling of the old brand, and it uh, needs uh, you know this marketing things and all of that that is part of your now brand, as you know I'm, I'm sure that Scott and, and Regina are doing for their own. So it's good if you guys can uh, come in and party with us. So you know. what time is it going to be? So. So if you can be there at 9 30 you know be there at 9 9 30 because you know there are other bands and uh you know we're just gonna perform around 10 but you want to be there before you know, just uh, you know catch up have a drink together let's yep. uh you know celebrate this uh, beautiful season and the year there was mm-hmm. that's a very I mean, busy year we're and we're gonna be there hanging out obviously before and after and anyway, after so come down say hello so and... who is we because you guys are saying so Scott, you're going to be there. Yeah, so I'm going to be there. Siggy's so, going to be there. Greg's going to be there. Yeah. yeah. Who else? So, Who else is part yeah, of Siggy? Yeah, that's right. So I, I play keyboard in Siggy. Mm-hmm. Siggy is Siggy in Siggy. <laughs> <laughs> Siggy, you want? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we have um, Greg. Greg Nagara, of yeah, course, nice. on the uh, on the congas, the yeah, percussion. And, uh, who, who else do we got? Yeah, uh, you have Garson that came in uh, for a few weeks ago. Of yeah. Silver, yeah. Silver Lining. He's also the drummer. He uh, drums. Yeah. And um, there's going to be Mike. Uh it's, it's great guitar uh, well, guitar player also but he's uh, he plays bass. bass for Siggy slaps the bass he slaps the bass and then Holly is gonna be a back vocal singer well we I mean we actually performed once with 11 pieces wow um, yeah that's true yeah so the, the, Siggy could be could, could get wow. us a big community yeah and that's exactly what I actually want uh, just a lot of people they kind of work towards the same goals which is providing you guys with great content uh, but also, you know, it brought us together because we, we were all separated in this, you know, in, in this. And for some reason, we got the jam one day and, you know, it's still the same pieces. Obviously, uh, that fills me up with joy. And uh, yeah, so you, you can see everybody's got their own things here. But uh, we all come together as Siggy Music um, to, you know, to kind of uh, put out that that is in here <laughs> in my head. Yep. And I'm actually very happy that uh, we got to, you know, we got to have another shot at the Orshu. And definitely next year we're going to have some festival coming out for you. Um, beside videos, new content, obviously. And working very hard. So it never stops. It never stops. Even on a Sunday morning. <laughs> That's right. And now here we are sitting down. <laughs> on the sit down. On the sit down to talk sit- about it. But yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a very fun show. It's going to be fun. Um what what you know what what is it that you really want more it's a free show <laughs> yeah. on a monday night you want to you don't want to be too late it's not going to be too late it's a beautiful venue that sounds really good that's what i thought when uh, you know we first big uh, first book the, the gig you know it's a, it's a nice slow ending for the of the year actually i'm about to go I'll, i'm i'm going to go to mexico for the first january the first week of january oh nice first getaway in like 5 years beautiful wow. <laughs> i know it's crazy like a lot of people told me that uh, you know I, I moved here and never went back to Italy in five years like I need uh, some sort of space mm-hmm. so January will be a good break for me nice for vacation. a week yeah but also the 15th we're gonna I'm gonna release a new single nice. uh, we're gonna definitely have a um, you know an event for it which is uh, an occasion of better man which is a new single coming out in January 15th uh, so it will be, I think, a good. So I I go there and I come back and you know four days later there's gonna be the, You're gonna the release. You're gonna be revived so. for the new decade. Awesome. Yeah. Can so. you believe 2020 is coming? Sorry. No, don't be. It's crazy. I know. A it's new crazy. decade is beginning. It's the 20s again. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's the 20s. We're back to the 20s. Oh my goodness. It's uh, it's um, I know time. I don't know. Time just seems to be going faster and faster and faster. Like this past year just flew. Yeah, I know. It's already Christmas. Yeah, we just had our Christmas episode, and now it's Christmas again. Siggy's yeah. back. It's... Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the only thing missing is the eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kathy in the ch- in the chat. Uh, I'll try fall. Feel fall. better soon. Thanks, Kathy. Yeah, that's right. I hope you have your voice back. The last time she was here, she had no voice. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's mm-hmm. right. That's right. 
But speaking of voices, should we hear one? Oh. Yeah, you want to play? Yes, play why song? not? I uh, actually brought you a, um, a version of Truth, you know, which was the basically the first single cam- coming out from the Human Touch release, uh, AP, which is going to be released this year. So if you guys know Truth, it's, uh, like I said, part of that concept. And uh, I brought you a version uh, where I can play it by myself, but uh, still giving you that. All right, so let's get, we're going to get Siggy to make his way over to the performance area, the stage. The uh, sit down with Scott Dion Brown stage, so you can mm-hmm. head, o- head over there, and uh, and uh, we'll we'll talk to you in a minute as you get yourself ready. Absolutely. So, um, hi, yes. Uh, so sh- once again, shout out to everybody who's watching. Yeah, we and, have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Brown on there, of course, Greg, uh, Kathy, as we just saw. So if you guys are watching and want to shout out, make sure you leave a comment down yeah, below so that we know. It's right. back, it's back. Oh, Kathy has her voice back. See, we read your your chat. So we get are. part of the conversation. If you have questions for Siggy, um, let us know. Okay, I'm going to get the audio going here. Let me just double check this. So Siggy is just about ready. He's, uh, he's uh, tuning up and getting himself ready. And let me look here. And I'm just going to continue to talk like I usually do. Sorry. Yeah. So you guys have plans for the holidays? Let us know because we love Christmas and we love hearing what you guys do for traditions. I know last Christmas we had a bunch of Siggy music on on and we were talking about what they do for the holidays. So let us know. Um, And uh, next weekend is our Christmas special because a few days after is Christmas. That's right. And actually one thing that's kind of fun about next week's is... uh, so right the day before the show, Saturday, mm-hmm. I'm going to be seeing the new Star Wars movie. Oh. And so I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of Star Wars on my mind. So Sunday's episode is going to be... A Christmas Star Wars special? Well, I would prefer to call it the Star Wars Christmas special. Oh. Just because um, that was an actual thing back in the day. But like, I've never watched Star Wars. You have So you've seen zero Star Wars, right? Zero. Zero Star Wars. That's... um. I, don't know I know, I, I know, I know who the characters, some of the characters are, but I've never sat down and watched a full Star Wars episode. In fact, we'll talk about it after. I don't know if you've watched. You guys haven't watched them, so you haven't seen the Mandalorian either. No, right? but I know who Baby Yoda is. <laughs> oh yeah. I feel like all of social media knows who Baby Yoda is. Well, I finally got all caught up on uh, with the Mandalorian, mm-hmm. and the reason I did that was because. Um, I was seeing these memes of Baby Yoda and everywhere. And everyone was bothering you yeah. to watch it. And I was just like, okay, I've got to see this show and like find out what it's all about. And I will say, Baby Yoda. He's so cute. Pretty adorable. <laughs> pretty adorable. All right, hang on. We're almost ready here. Are we? <laughs> I don't know. A couple technical issues with the computer here. So now I'm seeing a whole bunch of things filling. Siggy, you're almost ready? Oh yeah, you, we can't hear you right now, but he's just about he's just about ready. Okay, hang on. As soon as <laughs> it starts working. As soon as this thing restarts. Holy crap. Okay, you know what we're gonna do while we wait for this? How about Siggy, you come back and then we'll get we'll get you back on well, there. Well no, why don't we why don't we do the ads? Okay, yeah, let's do the ads. We'll do the ads. <laughs> so we're we're waiting for this thing to uh to fix. So in the meantime, everybody Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Something happened. <laughs> It might it, it might be back. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, sometimes you know, there's one of those days when I, I don't know a gremlin. Oh, it's working. A gremlin got into the system or something. It's working. Well, let's see. Let me. I just want to make sure that it's actually working, and then we'll we'll kick it over to Siggy. It's Looks like it is, right? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, so don't forget the back yes. backtrack. All right, so you know what? I'm gonna get you to hit play. Okay. This backing track. Okay, so Let's we're gonna bring down work. the. We're going to bring down the backing music. Oh, no, it's Siggy that I'm hearing. No, 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 we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. All right, hang on. So I'm arming this. Ladies and gentlemen, Siggy. All right, hang on. I tried. I got to go over there with the the camera, though. So he doesn't attack. Okay, muting. Okay. I'm heading over there. You know, for someone that just had a back injury, I don't think you should be doing that. Do I have a back injury? No, I do. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Hang on. All right. 
welcoming back to the sit down. It's Siggy. If you can tell me if you understand the wildest go on when oh, oh, oh. no reach me if you can tell me if you wanna be I take this life on the way to bring it. Oh, the life is a No, you girl, it makes you feel so strong. But love and I'm just the one more who will make you. If you guys haven't actually followed him on Instagram, um, you should. Um, and he actually posted his, um, what is it, lyric cover of Truth uh, video. And it was phenomenal. Climbing in. Ouch. Hello, hello, hello. And is it true that, Scott, you created that lyric video? Uh, I did. I did, actually. And we're back. <laughs> we are back. Did you guys like it? I did. Oh, thank you, Regine. <laughs> I did. It's very Let us catchy. know in the comments. Yes. Well, yes. And by the way, Scott did basically 90% of my videos online. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's crazy. See, you know, I mean, I remember still that moment. You know, I was mm -hmm. here. Um, so you can record me. Yes. Um, okay, cool. Do you make videos? Oh, yeah, I make videos. Can you play? Yes, I can play. Like, there was there was no <laughs> there was one nothing he no answer. Do. Yeah, like that it is, was always yes. That is true. How it because um, it's you're right. It started as it was just just you were music. Basically coming to record. Yeah, a, a demo basically, or EP. Right? That was yeah. And uh, yeah, kind of ended up. I, no, I think it was the music first. I remember music we first we we had recorded. We were taking a little break, and you were like, "Oh, I'm thinking of uh, you know starting to maybe play live." And I think at the time you were talking about. 
you hadn't um, visualized yet a full band. No, I was thinking of a DJ because my goal is to make people dance, right? Mm -hmm. Nowadays, you need a beat for that. Nowadays, you need uh, well, you always needed a tight beat, right? Even you know when there was no metronome. But I figured that I wanted to have like a DJ, like I, like I just did now, performing something like that, you know, with a DJ that can still play his live and he's got, you know, he could trigger his sounds, mm -hmm. but also give me that specific sound that I was looking for and I could just play on it. And that was the idea before I came in. Yeah. <laughs> so then originally, yeah, you were like, uh, so we were having a break and you mentioned, yeah, I might want to have this DJ and maybe like, you know, if you could, you could play guitar, right? Because I, I remember you were like, because you already kind of know the songs, because we've been recording, we them. recording together. Yeah. So then, yeah, and then, and then it was a little bit later. I think I can't even remember why we were just chatting about video, or maybe I was telling you about stuff I had been working maybe, on. Maybe, yeah, maybe. something like that. And you were like, well, I need, I need video. Definitely and a video for this. So it's kind of just, uh, you know, and it's such a like, a, you know, what the the beauty is that. You just don't do little, you know, a few things. Like you do it right. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, the way that I was, uh, that I grew up with, with the mentality of doing, like, okay, let's focus on one thing. And you do it right. You master it. So when I moved here, I know, uh, you know, I didn't know, I didn't nobody. I didn't know anybody. So when I figured that you were doing all of this and it was a package that's <laughs> the way it came yeah. out it's a package <laughs> and like why don't you are you interested and i remember there was one specific i have this be beautiful memory in my inside my head there was this slow ballad that i call human uh, into the light <laughs> yeah very and, nice song by the way very nice song. and it, and it was and, it, and we were playing we were recording and then uh, one of the, the pedals that i use the files which I, I go with big mouth and that song has just an outro with that pedal and i remember clearly because this there was a ballad you know very clean and then when i turned that on for that chorus it's, it's like whoo like it, it completely changed his face so probably where yeah. i was going with the music because he didn't know yep but you have always been like rock like even your yeah. projects uh, you're a rock and roll I, guy i think at my at my heart of it i'm out yeah i love the rock i like distorted guitars i like the wall of sound heavy wall of sound that's yeah that's <laughs> true yeah yeah i still remember recording that that was a. Uh, it was a fun time. The Big Muff is a great pedal. It is my Wonderful favorite pedal. fuzz ever. Uh, also, the because uh, used to be used to be the keyboard player, uh, the, the guitar Guitarist. player. But yeah. now what happened is because we, we wanted to to get a, a sound. You see, you breathe a lot of electronic music. I don't know, even Regine, you probably you know you you, you listen to music mm -hmm. and you you know like around and there's all you know obviously hip hop. It's mm -hmm. the biggest thing, which obviously I got nothing against. But so it's to incorporate some sort some sort of sound. So we were talking. I said, like, "Yeah, there's a you know we like funky guitars, and we were playing." I said, like, "Why? I mean, can you can you actually play piano? One of the other things you could do. <laughs> well, we play piano. Yeah, actually, you know, I took class so I can actually play piano. I'm like, yeah, why well, don't you don't you go there? And we actually have two different voices in this. So Scott, what do you not do? Um, I don't know how to play the. Um... Can you play the trombone? No, no, I cannot play the trombone. There you go. <laughs> now there, there, there. I mean, there are many things. I just, I, for me, it's all related. You know, you kind of pick up things here and there. I mean, like, like I, I was playing piano before I played guitar because mm. my parents put me in piano lessons. Fantastic. And I, I actually hated it when I was in it. Like, I really, I was a terrible piano student. I never practiced. I was like that too, but I was like six. <laughs> but, but you still, even though I was a bad student, I still, you know picked up a lot right of course and so i still you know you have the finger dexterity and and so i really didn't like it at the time but I, i'm grateful to my parents now because in high school when i wanted to start being in bands and learning guitar it was so you much had. easier to learn right and so you know so all the stuff i do it's all well kind of uh, you, you say it right because you know I'm, I'm also like i pick instruments and i can play different things but one thing is to take it to to have a, a little bit of knowledge and one thing one thing is to actually play it right right mm -hmm. yeah so if i would ask you what's your favorite instrument my favorite instrument yeah and vocals included uh, vocals included what would it be favorite instrument that he plays or just in general no that, that you play right that you can relate to i mean i'm temp player. i'm tempted to just say to say guitar but I, I do like the piano, and then I feel like the piano is more flexible in a lot of ways. It has a larger range because it has the full range of, oh, yeah. of music, right? Like, it's got the full range of notes. You go all yes. the way high, all the way low. So it's really flexible with what you can 
what he can do. But I think if I had to say what instrument has sort of the more impact on my life, it would be guitar, mm -hmm. I think, just because of rock and roll and, and well, all yeah. of that. So I, I guess I'll say guitar. Guitar, awesome. What about you? What's your favorite instrument? Well, I, I used to be a drummer. Oh, that's so right. When oh, I moved yeah. here, like I, I studied drums. It was like uh, probably twelve years of. Oh of wow! So, In fact, I, I should say I, I always forget that you were a drummer first because when, from the time you came here, I only knew you as a guitarist. Oh, there you go. But I remember you were telling me about how like. Back in Italy, when you were in bands, you were a drummer. I was a full fledged. I used to play every day and things yeah. like this. And then, uh, obviously, when I moved here, we I moved with the band. Uh, and actually, there's some still some things uh, on on the internet about that band. A couple of videos. Yeah, too, that's true. Shot in Milan. Uh, but it, w when we moved, uh, then uh, you know the other two pieces they. It was so always so difficult to make music, especially because they were Canadian. I was the only like full fledged Italian. So even when we were in Milan, we used to play like English music, and people would literally just turn, turn on the other side because if you're an Italian that pretends to sing in English, you know what I mean. There's this sort of apathy towards that. So either you're in Italy, you play like love songs, you know, <laughs> in an Italian. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you don't play. Uh, and so when I moved here, they wanted to go back and study. They actually chose uh, to have a career, which is great. So I, I found myself be the only one that wanted to carry music, and I, I don't think it was a choice. You know, it's always been a need. So I was a drummer, though. So when I decided to switch to guitar, I completely had to figure that out <laughs> to begin with. Oh, wow. So when I came in, and I remember even I like to talk about that session because Glamour Records, like that's. Like I said, if for somebody that just tuned in, it's just my home. Like, really is uh, emotionally uh, uh, for my art. But I remember that when we were recording some solos there, like I had no idea <laughs> what was do what I was doing uh, to begin with. And so I, yeah, well, that sounds good. Okay, well, it's done. Because <laughs> well, that would have been one of the so that would have been one of, like the first recording sessions. The first recording. solos I've ever done in the first place. Oh, wow. Crazy. So it's so it's so weird for me to think about it. But then every now that's the thing. So every now and again, like say say we're at one of a Siggy rehearsal, and maybe like you're you know sort of directing you know and every now and again you'll jump on the drums and be like okay I wanted to kind of like to show Garson say I was kind of thinking like this and then I always get a reminder when you jump on you're just like and I'm like oh yeah Whoa. this guy's like <laughs> this guy's a really good drummer and I always Thank forget you. that but yeah you're a, you're a very good drummer. I think I'm very um, uh, drums is still the thing to answer that to go back to that. I always I think that drums is still really really deep in my heart because mm. the rhythm even when you play guitar you strum so guitar is beautiful kind of kind of mixes the two worlds which is rhythm and harmony like you can have a, a re very rhythmic rest but play some harmonic things there uh, different from piano because you don't have you don't have picking there so yes you yeah. can you, you you have those electric piano where you can pitch and you know kind of bend the notes yeah but that's still not a, a string playing right so mm -hmm. i think that la drums is still there but guitar is just right right mm -hmm. just a little below there just because it connects the two worlds and and I actually had to pick up the guitar back then because how like i didn't want to be phil collins you know what i mean Those drummers, <laughs> and you have beautiful artists like you know anderson pack there's really successful musicians around that can play in, in uh, drums and sing but that, i don't think that that was my thing i think that drums and rhythm it's important to me to be recorded in a certain way and to be presented to you in a certain way but other than that i i just play guitar now you know what i mean when you are in a recording session and you're recording you can play a sitar i don't care you know a sitar yeah. anything it, it's it's available in studio live to me definitely definitely guitar makes sense yeah i think i'm that's the same thing that's why i kind of land on guitar because it's just the main at this point it's the main driver but again like i i like I play a bunch of instruments because when you have a studio and you're recording other bands and and even just working on your own stuff, you tend to kind of pick up a bit of everything. Yeah, same. I'm just kidding. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Regina. Mm -hmm. Regina. Yeah, same, same. I get oh, and, it. and uh, Kathy says she just followed you on Instagram. Oh, Kathy, I thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. So oh, where, stay tuned it, for the um, for the fifteenth, uh, guys, for Better Man. That's January. so that's a that's a month today. That's a month, a month today. today. That's yeah. I'm so excited about it. Um, you know, we, we went back to, actually Scott was part of the recording as well. We went to Desert Fish. Once Desert again, Fish Studios. Which yeah. is in Toronto. Yep. Uh, Jeff Wolper is the producer, such a good guy. Um, very, not only talented, but you know, experienced and all. He actually recorded uh, some of Aretha Franklin's work oh, in wow. the 80s. Yeah, he's worked with, all, he's worked, it's cool. Like when you go in his studio, 
you see like the Juno Awards and yeah. all the albums on the <laughs> walls crazy. and stuff. Like yeah. it's um, it's not as impressive as my wall. <laughs> no, well, I that's because Siggy's not on there. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, but it's but it's it's close. It's close. Yeah, it's pretty cool. He's a he's a cool guy. He's a cool, cool guy. guy. So we went there. Uh, we, we we're back there now for this because you know Truth came out from Desert Fish, so it's it, it to me it made sense to go, go back there for the Human Touch Hole release. But then, uh, you know, this this year we're gonna go through drastical changes in sound. I'm telling wow. you, yeah. I mean, I want to keep, like I said, inc- incorporate the funk and the soul. But I need to, I needed to, and I guess you guys agree with me. You need to have a soul, an identity, but also you need. It's like a restaurant, you know. I take music now as a business, as differently mm. as before. Like y- you want to do your thing, like for example, an Italian restaurant. But you need to also, if you open it in Toronto. You need to know where the people are looking for. Also. Yeah. So you cannot impose your thing. So mm-hmm. in my in music scenario, then we're going to th- throw some digital, some electric, some oh, beats. Wow. Yeah, because, you know, in order to be, for people to be moving, uh, I know that that's required. But, you know, the, the challenge is... The challenging thing it will be to to keep that soul old school in it, yep. but also showing in this new like uh, new sound. And I'm actually very excited for 2020. So uh, lots of things, lots of things to come. Yes, absolutely. And, and uh, we, we we should do the ads. Yes, we now. should. We didn't do <laughs> yeah, in fact, we uh, should. And also shout out to uh, uh, that's right. People, so this show is live on YouTube, mm-hmm. live but on it's YouTube. also live on D Live, and it's also live on Twitch. Okay. And so I can see somebody named Hallelujah Side. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you. He just uh, linked his uh, channel. So thanks for tuning Hallelujah. in. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in here on, on D Live, and uh, we appreciate you. And there you go. You can check him out if you're on D Live. And uh, now let's uh, let's get let's let's recognize our wonderful sponsors and advertisers who who make this show possible. Yes. So uh, tell me something, Regine. Yes, Scott. Regine. Yes, Scott. <laughs> I've only heard it once, though. Regine, Lena. We want Regina it. We want. Lena. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silver lining. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He's stayed permanently. Oh, silver that. lining. Look what you did. Ladies and gentlemen, today's episode of the sit down with Scott Dion Brown is brought to you by the following advertisers. Fantastic, fantastic advertisers, Regine. Not just advertisers. It's fantastic. Fantastic advertisers. Um, Regine. Yes, Scott. <laughs> do you want to find out what your home is really worth? I could. Are you buying or selling your home? <laughs> Potentially. Well, then guess what, Regine? What, Scott? Jennifer C. At Home Life Culture Link is here to help. You know Jennifer. We love Jennifer. Jennifer. We love Jennifer. She's such a nice... Well, you know what? Call or text Jennifer today at Mm 647-403-8887. Don't deal with just anyone. Mm -mm. Speak to a professional. She's a professional. She's very thorough. She's caring. She really wants you to find a great place. You know? She's a professional. Deal with her. Jennifer C. at Home Life Culture Link. And to see your current listings, visit homelifeculturelink.com. Mm-hmm. The Mortgage Godfather is here to give you advice with any mortgage needs you may have. And he will shop to find you the best mortgage. Nino Saimeka, mortgage agent. He'll give you an offer you can't refuse. I, I love that Siggy. I should has... be I should I should be saying <laughs> no. that though. Siggy try. Still... Go try. You gotta give an offer you can't refuse. There you go. <laughs> See? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so check him out at uh he'll give he, mortgagegodfather.ca <laughs> or give him a call at 905-604-6955. Mm-hmm. And finally, of course, it was brought to you by Jewelry, Jewelry Forever. Forever. Mm-hmm. Conveniently located. At CF Markville Shopping Center at 5000 Highway 7 East Markham. Um, they do custom made jewelry. Custom made. As in you can custom. go in there and you can say. This is what I want. What I yeah. really, really want. <laughs> hey, Jerry. I want I want a piano key ring. Which he has done. Which he has done. I, when, when we were there, we went for a visit at the shop. Somebody wanted a piano piano key, key. thing. And he was mm-hmm. he was individually placing like for the black keys. He was placing like stones. Bla- individual stones in the ring. Sounds beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah. Custom made ring. So they do custom made jewelry. They do repairs. They change watch batteries. All done on site. Speaking of repairs, my mom brought a, 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 a watch, watch to him to, to repair. Two well. watches. Nice. Two watches. So you do repairs. Change watch batteries. All done on site. 
And uh, there's even something more special, especially with the holidays coming up, Regine. Mm-hmm. What, what, what do we have to say? If you tell him, go look for Jerry. If you tell Jerry that Scott and Regine sent you, he will give you 15% discount. That's one 15%. five. Look at that. Right at the bottom there. Mention Scott and Regine sent you, and you will get 15% off, people. And he will, he will give you the fifteen percent off because he has. So <laughs> there you go. make sure you go see him. Right. And you guys know what Christmas is just around the corner. So right. if you're looking for watches, he has those lapel. What is it called? A lapel pin or a uh, cufflinks? Cufflinks. Very good. Lapel pin. Uh, cufflinks. cufflinks. He does. Um, they even have jewelry for babies. Um, it's a lovely shop. It is. So get on over to Markville, and. Um, Tell them Scott and Regine. Well, it sounds beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I, it's like literally, yeah, Scott and Regine sent, 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 sent me you. Uh, 50%. Look at that. There you go. There so you I go. My... <laughs> and of course, if you would love to advertise on the show, and mm-hmm. we would love to have you, um, please get in touch. At radio show ad. That's radio show ad at gmail.com. That's right. We'll set you up with a fantastic advertising plan. And again, because the ads, as you can see, we read them live right mm-hmm. here on the air, right on the middle of the show. Uh, live, which means you can personalize it week to week. So if you have a sale or a special event coming up at a particular weekend, you can let us know and we can get it out to your fans and your potential clients Mm -hmm. in real time. And you can even come onto the show and give the ad yourself. Absolutely. Yeah, Yeah. we'd love to have you as a guest. So Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, get in touch, radio show ad, radio show ad at gmail.com. Guys, one hand washes the other. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you have an ad, this is a beautiful platform, you see, as I did today. And uh, they're, they, they're fantastic. That's and right, this people. Is, <laughs> this is all <laughs> live. You we're, know? we're not paying him to say this. No, no, no. Yeah, you should point that out. Yeah, yeah I'm this not getting not any paid. money. <laughs> Um, oh, okay, so we're back. We're back now, right? We're yeah, back. we're back. I want to show you guys something cool. Okay. Have, have you guys heard of the bola wrap? The what? Bola wrap. The bola wrap. No, what's that? What is the bola so wrap? So the bola wrap is a new um, thing that, I don't know how new it is. I think it's pretty new. But it's something that um, police officers are being trained with to use to help detain like people that they're chasing. Okay. So okay. currently right now, like 200 LA police officers are being trained to use it okay so hang on i want to show you guys hang on hang on, hang on. Bola. check this out okay, it watch. sounds like ebola turn your, eyes, <laughs> yeah. turn your eyes to the screen watch what this thing can do watch, um, watch, watch. Oh. See that? oh oh wow oh man that, sounds, that looks painful no, the thing is, it's not it really. is not uh, it, i think it's better than shocks yeah that's <laughs> true <laughs> See that? so the idea so so basically what it is it's like it's like a gun looking thing but there's a little <laughs> laser pointer, see? So somebody was running or walking away from oh, you. My God. You shoot it at them, and the idea is it, 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 it ties them up. It's beautiful. Oh, God. Isn't that cool? Like, well, it, yeah, it is. I mean, everything better than shooting. Oh. Well, that's, everything yeah. better than hurting. Yeah. That's the thing. I mean, I, I saw it. So here's in slow motion. Like it's <laughs> see how, so it's, all, it's doing that in like a split second. Oh, wow. So that's just shows it was on. Can we try that on you, Scott? Yeah. I want to see that, but you got you. You have to be running, though. You got yeah. to <laughs> go. Try to catch me. <laughs> but that's cool. I, I saw it in uh, the article I read it, and it was like it's almost like something Batman would use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks like uh, it's like a superhero weapon. Cave technology. So, and yeah, like you were saying, I mean, I think it's a lot better than it's. It's just another option where um, rather than getting tasered or something, tasered or shot. Like yeah, don't yeah, have to no, go right to lethal. Like something that's look. I mean, they were all testing it on each other. It looks. Rel- relatively painless to just be, but it just Beautiful. stops your ability to run. Right? And that's what that's what they are doing. You know, yeah. that, you know, they have to stop you, and yeah. that's how they do it. And that's kind of how I fell and hurt my toe. No, I'm just kidding. So you got bola wrapped. <laughs> See, Regine was trying to trying to escape from. Uh, just kidding. No. Oh, cool. that's how you hurt your. <laughs> <laughs> Um, speaking of what's trending, did you guys hear about um, the voice character for? Big Bird oh, and yeah. is it Oscar the Grouch? Yeah, the guy who played um, the voice Big Bird. character. Yeah, but, yeah, he wasn't actually in the suit. No, he was just the voice. Yeah, Big Bird and Oscar the Grouch. Like, were you? Are, did you ever watch Sesame Street? Or maybe mm, not. Right? No, I didn't. Because you you grew up in in Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but they had they had uh, Sesame Street. In no, Italy. for sure, for sure. I heard, I know it, but I've never watched yeah. it personally. Okay. When I was there, beside the fact that I was a lot younger, uh, I didn't pay much attention mm. to. So well, my he, my question is like, what's gonna happen now to those characters? That's the thing. Are they gonna? I mean, 
I, I my guess is they'll just they'll get somebody else who can do the voice, but it's never. It's, it's a very be... particular yeah. sound, like What's both the gr- a... Oscar and. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that, that nowadays you have technology to re-trigger some sort of some voices. They've they've been doing oh, it for true. Michael that's Jackson. True. You know the disc gigs where the the artist is actually an hologram. You know, oh, yeah. they did it with Michael Jackson. They did it with Elvis. That's mm-hmm. true. They can recreate the voices too. Yeah. I imagine they'll probably just get like. In fact, looking back, I'm pretty sure, like Bugs Bunny, for example. I, I remember when I was little, I used to have this VHS tape. It was like six hours of old, old cartoons. Oh my goodness! And I noticed that Bugs Bunny's voice was different. Changed. So I think I think it's you know without even telling you, they just they just do new it. actors come in. So, but still, uh, you know, re- rest in peace because that's a that's a that's a voice that's an actor who's had a huge impact on, I think, literally millions of children's lives. Mm-hmm. So um. Like I'm curious, is Barney still the same character? Is Barney still around? I think so. Really? I think so. Barney the dinosaur? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Barney is a dinosaur. Oh, I know. Na, na, na. I love you, you. Barney the dinosaur. That was was um um I wanted to be one of those characters. Like on, one, of the, on Barney. one of the dinosaurs? No, like the kids. <laughs> Literally wanted to I be I wanted one to of be them. a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Barney um I was Bar- Barney was kind of after my time a little bit. Can you tell I'm younger than them? <laughs> <laughs> Only a little after. Yeah, what just a wa- little. Yeah. What did I watch when I was really little? I don't remember watching a lot of. I, I did watch Sesame Street. Mm-hmm. I used to watch Polka Dot Door. I loved Polka Dot Door. <laughs> Polka Dot Door. That was like a. Polka Dot. That was a. a, a I think it was just in Ontario, right? It was. Yeah. That was they like a they TV were just. Ontario. TV yeah, all was just selling. Um, Merchandise of Polka Dot Door and Pokeru and so the whole bunch of shows that yeah. I think you won't know unless you grew up in, in Toronto in, in, or Ontario. Because so, so did Polka Dot Door play outside of Ontario? I don't know. Well, I, if you're I, not, I, if you didn't grow up in Ontario, like they, they could leave yeah. a comment down below. Yeah. Like even they, if it's local, yeah, sounds like they should be able to. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I actually don't know. I don't know how wide. You know, Arthur the, is uh, still on TV. Yeah, I have seen that. That that pops up on my on my TV screen. Because you don't have cable, it just yeah. Channel so two. I'll still see like <laughs> I'll see Arthur every now and again. Arthur's pretty good. Like Arthur's what about still... the Simpsons? Are oh, the Simpsons Simpson? are still going. Oh my god. Oh, Kathy commented about the uh... Wonder Woman lasso. Yeah, about the bola wrap. Oh yes. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, and you gotta be telling the truth to these people if they do that to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I don't, I'm wondering what, when we're going to start seeing those things more often. Will it come to Toronto? Because right now, so like... I you said think LA. It's a, yeah, so, and I think it's in a few other places in the U.S. And I and I know right now they're saying that 200 officers are being trained on it in L.A. Exactly. So uh, I don't know. Well, we'll I, I mean, like, for example, the, the states are still one of those uh, those countries that they invest more money into military mm-hmm. and uh, into... Uh, yeah. So it makes sense that it comes from L.A., this uh, initiative. Makes sense. Well... I hope that it uh, works out. And it looks to me like a good idea. And then we can chase after Scott. And go, <laughs> you That's can do like... it tomorrow at the gig. If you guys have one of those guns, <laughs> those bowler wraps, when you come in at the horseshoe, yeah. when we play, please point it at Scott. What's and the thing about those? So shoot it. Can you, like, now? so now that those are being given to people. Oh, fun, fun. <laughs> okay, we'll get to that in a second. Um, um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I'm wondering now, can you go out and buy bowler wraps? Like, or is that something that you have to be a police agency to buy them? Maybe you need to. I'm sure you can get it off like Wish.com. Well, or... if you can get, if you can get, if you can get a shotgun, that's a good point. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Like, you can buy all of the items. That be... So maybe you. Can. I'm sure if you search it on Amazon, you'll find it. Oh yeah. All right, Greg Nagara asks, kind of off topic. Has Scott ever been mistaken for the son from Kim's Convenience? Reminds me of him every time. Um, we kind of have the same hairstyle. You know what? What's kind of funny is um, um, I've uh, I, I can't say all the details, but I have auditioned for some of the same parts that he has, which is interesting. You could have been the guy on Kim's Convenience. You would have been way way good for the spot, though. Way good for the job. Well, you know. You know how. Uh, anyways, that's so. So, have I ever been mistaken for him? Um, not. He not hasn't, yet. but he's been given uh, different roles. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> he's taken the roles from yeah, Scott. I have exactly. I haven't been mistaken for him, but he has taken my job. <laughs> <Could you? laughs> uh, no, but yeah, that's. Not, that's but awesome. see, here's the thing: if you were to be have given those roles, then you wouldn't be on the sit down, and we wouldn't be here. 
I, I'd still do the sit down. So thank you for taking his role. I will always do the sit down. I will always. So please. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what's his name? Siggy just said that you looked familiar, like look like someone else oh, yeah. who was famous. Oh yeah, yes. oh, yeah. Uh, it was Brendan Lee. I said mm-hmm. yeah, it looked because... like Brendan Lee. On the on the wall, there's a picture of me. So ba- back back right back in the day. Right oh yeah, can you see it? Okay, you can kind of see it. I I'm, I had quite a bit longer hair. The longest my hair ever was, I was like, it was pretty much to here. That was the absolute longest, down to my shoulders. And it was back in my, well, I mean, I still play in, in bands, but it was like, you know, I was really going all out with that that look. And, mm-hmm. it, and it's also because, especially at that time, like in the, I don't know, whatever, when it, whenever it was. Sure. It was kind of a very much of a 70s revival it's a type time. 2006. Oh? Yeah, so it was like, a re- it was a very 70s revival type time. Like, girls were still wearing um, bell bottoms and guys wearing boot cut. And they're <laughs> aviator sunglasses. And so I was going all out for like the long hair. But now we're kind of going through an 80s revival, right? So mm-hmm. so my hair is shorter and I wear wayfarers and my jeans are tight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and actually, you know what the thing is? I actually like this thing we're in through how everything's fitted. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is how it was. Like it seems to go through cycles, right? Because the way they dress in the 80s is how they how they dressed kind of in the in like the 50s. Well, the 90s was just here and the, with like the chokers coming back. Well, I think and the, then 90s the 90s was coming back. And... Yeah, they're bringing... But that's the thing that makes me worried now is like, are they going to make us want to wear? They're um, not going to make you do anything. Yeah, you know, but I mean, but like, are the fashion trends going to shift towards baggy clothes again? Like, oh, Are they, they going to start putting, are guys going to start having the big oh, baggy Oh no, pants? those fat farm shoes. Yeah. <laughs> like, are those going to come back now? <laughs> oh my God. Because I'll be honest, I don't want, I don't want them to. I like, I like the stuff we're wearing now. <laughs> not all of it. Actually, I remember well, when that was a thing and I remember they had like, well, I grew up in Scarborough so that the hair, my hair would be like tied up but to the side and I would tie a shoelace. Oh God. Let's not do that so anyway, again. it's coming back. No. It's coming back. <laughs> well, even if it does, you have a choice. I choose not yeah. to relive grade seven again. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't really dress very well. But you know why? Because when I was in grade seven, you guys were in high school. So, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Come on, no, no. It's just a couple <laughs> of years. It's just a couple of years. Yeah. It's, uh, but anyway, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. I mean, I guess what happens is, you know what I will say is when the skinnier tight fitting pants started becoming popular i didn't like how mm. they looked was that one that was like um emo emo music was a thing yeah and so like i remember i'd started to see people with like really tight pants but it would be like half down their like you would see their underwear underneath but it was really tight and so those were those came out and i really i'm like those look awful like no i like my boot cut jeans like i want my boot cut <laughs> i like my butt covered <laughs> yeah but then but the thing is i still want my butt covered but but what, <laughs> but what shifted was like i now i like things I like it fitted. Like I like it suits. Suits are all yeah. slim fitted suits and nicely fitted and tapered and like, yeah. everything's like... also because you're not 15 anymore. Sure, exactly. <laughs> but I'm saying so now. But like, but so what I'm saying is I didn't really like the look when it you first just broke came his back. Heart. You're not oh, 15 no. anymore. Well, but, but, then, but no, but then I I eventually adjusted to it. Like I started mm. to like it. So I'm wondering now if they start to push us back towards baggy things, mm. am I gonna eventually just be like that looks great? I gotta get some of those. <laughs> Would you guys wear? If you can, for people watching, leave a comment down below on what decade you would go back into fashion-wise. Okay, what? Okay, what would you pick? Nineties, because I grew up in the nineties. But I didn't really like how they. Dressed I don't really like. Okay, maybe eighties, but I don't. I would say nineties. Like, like I look at videos or movies made in the nineties, and like, there was a lot of like sharp edges in. Or hair like early two thousands. <laughs> I don't know. I just I I'm not very trendy, so I, I go with whatever's. I think I like the. I like leggings and a sweater. So. <laughs> yeah, you are perfect for these days. Then. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would pick. I I like the '60s. Although I also like the old days when like people would everybody everybody wore like you'll pictures from like the fifties or forties mm. or earlier where like everybody's wearing like a suit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody goes out and they all have a hat. Yeah. That is very ties, and yeah. stylish. Got, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I like that. Like yes. everybody, everybody just looks nice all the time. Kathy says '80s. '80s. Mm. Well, we're we're in the '80s right now. I like the hairstyle of the '80s, like the big. <laughs> I like some parts. <laughs> there are certain parts about the well. There are certain parts about the '80s that I think they're I, pronounced. I, uh, yeah, the 80s, and I'm so happy very... to say you guys can stay there back there. But like, I actually like I like leggings that have come back. I I, I like. You know uh, what though? I have a thought of it. Uh, mm. Even though I mean coming from italy whatever you know i walking in milan everybody uh, la- fashion la- central oh my god ladies uh, in their 50s they would uh, they would put high heels to, to go grocery in milan. Mm-hmm. like you don't see 
casual. If you're walking in Via Torino or whatever, like in the center near the Duomo and things mm-hmm. like that. So when I moved here, it was a little, uh, it was different, Culture. obviously. Culturally yeah. different, yeah. right? Imagine, People, yeah. you know, obviously well, you can wear your flip-flop and go to grocery. <laughs> That's fine, obviously. But it was, it's it's weird for me to see all this, you know, obviously the Kardashians and, 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 and you know, Drake, whatever, that Kanye West, they, they brought this uh, sweat, not sweatpants, or like a... Uh, Uh, how do you call like it? Like lounging, pants. lounging sport wear, pants. yeah. And now the sport pants, they, they, you can actually afford to walk on a red carpet with sport pants, which in Italy is still crazy. It's like, that's not fashion. That shouldn't be fashion. You, know, you have all, this, all these ideas that are coming mm-hmm. from it. And I'm in between. I'm like, yeah, okay, but let it be. You know what I mean? It's, it's part of a switch or so. I personally don't have an opinion on what's better. Definitely, mm-hmm. they're very comfortable. Mm-hmm. So I can give that. But is it fashion? Like real fashion? Oh, is coming it like, from an Italian. who? <laughs> like, you know, I don't want to be, obviously, I don't want to sound... Uh, no, Because I'm actually, you know, I, I'm pro both. Mm-hmm. But what's your, you know, what's your stand on that? Like, do you think that, you know, sweatpants, whatever the trend is, do you think personally that sweatpants is something you could walk on a red carpet? No. no like no, you no. want to wear something nice, you know what I mean? If I were to go to a red carpet and I showed up in sweatpants, I'm pretty sure Cindy would take my crown and sash off of me. Yeah. Actually, well, <laughs> me personally, the sweatpants, I... I I've never know. seen you wear sweatpants. That's because oh, I was... I, ever. I, I, I just... Actually, ever. I, I, I ever. I was just going to say, I was just going to say, I would... I would never even I don't even wear sweatpants. Do you I, own sweatpants? I do. I own okay. one I, I, own, <laughs> I own one pair of sweatpants and I it's it's for in the house. I don't know there's something When nobody that, sees me. I, yeah. I, I will I refuse to I, I never go outside with sweatpants. I just mm. don't. I, for me it's I always do. the the least dressed I would be would be um usually j- jeans is what I wear 90% of the time. In a t-shirt. <laughs> and and some very very rarely I'll wear a pair of shorts if it's really hot out. I don't think I've ever seen you wear shorts either. either. Not Not even that. So here's the thing. I'm actually kind of weird with shorts in that (laughs) I, I, for the majority of my, I just never, ever wear shorts. I don't like them. So when you went to Thailand, did you wear shorts? So here's the thing. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. okay. I wore, I have a pair of shorts and like that time that I wore the shorts on vacation, that was like my first time wearing shorts outside. Whoa. Outside of a gym, outside of, I'll wear shorts. Okay, I was gym. gonna say, do you? <laughs> the do you wear jeans and yeah. a t-shirt? I wear a three-piece suit to the gym. <laughs> Three piece. Yeah. I want to see yeah. it. But no, it's. Uh, I, I just. I don't know. There's something. I, I just. I like being presentable, so, somewhat dressed up. Yeah, and I just for me sweatpants. The only time I could justify wearing sweatpants is if I was like at the gym or on my way to the gym, mm. right? But otherwise, for me, I, it's just not something that I. Wear, yeah, but yeah, I, I, don't I know. feel the same way. So I own sweatpants. I mean, I love the comfort, <laughs> too, but uh, I mean, it, uh, literally, you don't see nobody. Like I said before, like walking in Milan, like you don't see that. Yeah. Right? And my things different now. I yeah. Don't know. yeah. But uh, uh, it's definitely not fashionable in in the contents of fashion. The fashion, which is like, why seriously. I'm glad that leggings are a thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> leggings see. are. What's thing? Thing? Leggings are like. Well, leggings are comfortable, but they also are. They can be dressed up and dressed down, right? You can kind of. Well, I'm wearing leggings leg. today. There you go. So, but leggings, okay. You can pay good money for leggings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because of the technology that there is it now for mm-hmm. whatever they <laughs> the, the pull <laughs> everything together. <laughs> They just pull everything together, you know what I mean? So I think that that's also another fashion. Well, they have thing. guy leggings like at Lululemon. Would you wear those? <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I know what you mean. My, my jeans you mean. My, my <laughs> jeans usually are, are not that much looser than leggings sometimes. <laughs> no, that's why I'm curious. But there's still, there's still a little bit of bagginess right. in certain <laughs> well, that Well, that was a technology even in the 60s or 50s. You mm-hmm. had socks. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's true. <laughs> so, um, But Siggy, would you wear... Lululemon leggings for men? Look at his face. <laughs> no, I... No, no. Like, yes, yes, I would. <laughs> I'm wearing some right now. I, yes. <laughs> no, I mean, I, that's, I know. That's his costume for tomorrow. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Actually, we wore... Um, my my brother bought some... I, I guess they were leggings for... Uh, w- when we played a show at uh, the Von Fiesta. We all, we, we all wanted to dress mm. up like full-out rock and roll. Oh, my goodness. And my, my brother bought like these like... Spandex, like yeah. crazy tight spandex legging looking things. Oh, fantastic. Look pretty awesome, actually. I'm, I'm sure there's a picture of it on my, on my Instagram somewhere. Oh, yeah. And you got that leopard, the, you know, the, 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 yeah, the leopard, yeah. leopard. Yeah. I, wore, I wore the leopard print and like, 
I love that. Yeah. One of the it's things fun. you see, but we are so musicians, so that's why I, I came up with the pen things. Like to be the the dress, the costume, the look, the outfit is almost everything. Oh yeah, you of know course. what I mean. It's it, not not just what you want to see or what you think that they want to see. Mm-hmm. It's how do you feel? Like how do you want to portray yourself? Yeah, like yeah. You, if you're doing something, if you're on stage or whatever, or it's so important. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. why it's not undermining. Yeah, let's just put a pair of leggings and it'll be good because it's. Tolerated now. Yeah. Yeah. No, just like that's a, that's another thing. It's yeah. I, I agree. The 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 costume you wear on stage is super important. Mm-hmm. But I think it's also there's another thing about me is that I don't. Uh, it's like I wear that costume on stage. But you would never wear it. But off you won't stage. see me walking around with it because I almost feel like no, like uh, you don't want to wear animal print. <laughs> no. I mean, it's not even that I dislike it, but it's it's like I I always feel like when you go on stage, you're like, it's like you're playing a part and you're getting mm-hmm. in costume and stuff. It's like if you. Like I remember when I was in uh, in art school, it was like th- we were always taught, you know, so you do your makeup and you do your costume, you get on stage, but then like before you go out the stage door, or go out into the public, you, you were never allowed, allowed to go out to, in yeah. your costume or any of that thing because it was like no, that's almost breaking part of the. Mm-hmm. the it's magic a beautiful of it. fundamental, and I think art. that's yeah, well, and I think that's kind of rubbed off on me. So I kind of approach even when we do live shows the same way. I kind or when of when we MC together, you're always like hidden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like to make sure that, like, you know, no, I'm not there until the no show starts. No one can see yes. our outfit. Absolutely, it's just part of the magic. I, don't mm-hmm. know, I remember that. Um, that just to, to close that. I mean, I have this memory of this article that I read about David Bowie, and mm-hmm. I, I'm, I I feel that I want to do the same things so because you always want to get inspired by things that already happened, maybe, mm-hmm. may, maybe. And I remember that he was when he wasn't famous, and he wrote this article, and I was reading it. He said that one of the first gigs he had. Uh, in London, uh, whatever he, he obviously nobody knew him, but he showed up with two big bodyguards. Oh wow! <laughs> you know, just to make an entrance, and I think that that's like the devil's in is in the details, you know. Because mm-hmm. everybody, as soon as you walk in, everybody, everybody, everybody was like, like, "Who's, who's that, that guy?" That? Yeah. And they think I want to pull off the same thing. Could I pull it off? I, <laughs> I don't <think> know. So. <laughs> I do that with my brothers because they're so much taller than I am. <laughs> so I love when they're walking me because I walk in the middle and I feel like I have bodyguards. And then it's like, please step aside, step aside. <laughs> yeah. Step well, aside. okay. So at the sorry to step in at the um, bromance premiere so i'm standing in line with everyone else and goody come by shout outs to you so he goes oh my gosh guys sorry this is really loud oh my gosh guys do you know who that is and then everyone's like looking at him it's it's miss galaxy canada i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> oh yeah that's part of the job i though. loved it though I was I, like, <laughs> yeah i was like okay 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 that's but, crazy no it, it's it's a good feeling so i would definitely recommend having get scott to dress up in a suit with glasses and get taylor to do Secret, the same thing Secret they're both service. tall <laughs> yeah. there you go uh <laughs> there you go we're set yep well guys we've been talking for like well we started a little late but we're an over hour an hour, 15, hour yeah. 15 minutes that's great i uh, i didn't even feel it passing by no. I, I was amazed how quickly it went by yeah but um uh, and guess, everyone got involved in our conversation. Yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, for saying hello in the chat yes. and for watching. I guess we'll wrap things up. I guess. Eh? Yes, I so, just want to remind, uh, yeah, everybody, remind everybody to come tomorrow. Yeah, what? the Horseshoe Tavern. What time? The, uh, we're gonna perform around ten, but you wanna show up around nine and thirty to have a nice uh, cheers with us. So we'll have a few drinks, get to the, the holiday spirit. We're gonna have uh, beautiful bands. You know, Scott will be there. Um, gonna have... <laughs> what did he look at me like? <laughs> I looked at you because, <laughs> because <laughs> unfortunately you're still not playing with us. But uh, we're probably uh, what, gonna... what am I gonna play? We're gonna, Triangle? We're gonna cover <laughs> a we nice. <laughs> we're gonna cover a nice song that you, that you could actually sing. <laughs> what you know, are we gonna Philippine do? Song. <laughs> we are looking. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, come out and people who are concerned. You know, yes, it's a Monday, but look. It's not that late at night. No, it is. Like, like I said, we're on by ten. Tennis, yeah. right? So you're, you'll be home. You'll be home by eleven, and then you can go to bed. But bottom line, it's a great time. Come on out. And like I said, it's, it's funny because we were talking about it before. The first time we played at the Horseshoe, and I knew it was a Monday. Mm-hmm. I was concerned. Like I've, I've played many venues to nobody i played a lot of shows <laughs> over the years mm-hmm. where there's nobody there i played for the sound guy or like the other band so oh, when, that's when, so sad well you know it's, I, so sad. it's any, just part of it yeah it's part I of would, being an i artist. would play for that crowd yeah. it's part it's part of being a musician every every band is played in some venue like but so so when i heard that we were playing that monday night that first time that's what i was expecting i was like okay whatever we're you know i've never played the horseshoe practice. we'll go exactly <laughs> And I was so amazed yeah, at how awesome the crowd was that night. There were people because it's right downtown, and it's a historic. Dancing. So, so 
come on out. It's a really fun venue. It's a the sound is great. Yeah. Yeah. And um plus you're gonna, you know, say hi to us, you know, before the before the twenties again, before twenty twenty comes in. And the decade with Siggy music. Exactly yes. everybody. Yes. I'm looking forward to see you guys uh you know, buzzing in uh, on the internet for this uh, either releases in the Kathy, future. You make stick sure around you check it to out. this uh to this beautiful sit down here, you're gonna have many guests. I probably gonna come by and <laughs> Absolutely. Of course. More one hundred percent. Of course. Yeah. Um, we need to get your picture on the wall as the most frequent guest of the sit down. Yeah, we yeah. We'll, we'll, get, yeah. We'll, we'll update the wall. We'll get the wall updated. <laughs> and now I'm going to be wearing sweatpants for that picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Sweatpants only. Yeah. So, um, Siggy. Hey. Where, where can, can people find you? Find you? <laughs> give, us, give, give, give us your. Beautiful. So, just a brief thing there. I've never mentioned it. I'm Daniel. Sigismondi, right? That's why that's where ah. Siggy comes from. So I am actually Siggy. That's not a nickname. It's just an easier, uh, an easy way to pronounce my last name. Can you say your thing. last name again? It's with the Italian pronunciation is Sigismondi. Sigismondi. Well, that was pretty good. So Siggy <laughs> for everybody. You can type in Siggy music all over the internet and everything going to come out where can they find your music they can find my music on spotify uh, basically everywhere you uh, amazon has my music wow. everybody has my music uh, on the internet and um, i there are uh, lots of things are uh, download like you can download for free now because oh, you know so two nice. years from the, yes i mean like we said before to give back to the crowd and uh, i'm actually happy to to do that and i will be doing more and more um, free things because I really believe in uh, in the circle of words and um, well tune in because better man is coming out the whole human touch will be explained we have some contest like the truth lyric video that came out a few months ago without explanations mm -hmm. everything will be explained this year yep. and uh, Scott will be uh, definitely behind the camera there and also in front of the camera at times so few times. you yep. want to be uh, yep. sticking to his channel subscribe to both of our channels and Regine you should have a channel by now <laughs> and when you do we'll make sure to subscribe to that one that's right i'm working 2020 <laughs> i will put together a youtube channel yeah. and uh, i believe i believe in the description down below i've linked to your youtube channel i think i have if i haven't yet it will be there but again find him just search siggy music yeah he's tagged out. there yeah he's there right yep okay perfect and uh regine where can people find you you can't find me on youtube but apparently siggy is throwing me under the bus so maybe <laughs> in 2020 i will put stuff on this channel <laughs> <laughs> you guys could be my first guest. Yes, <laughs> perfect. Yes. Anyways, you guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook at It's Regina Lena. Where oh, and if you're on Instagram and you want to follow my pageant journey, you can follow Ms. That's M S Galaxy Canada. There you go. Where can they find you, Scott, besides on your YouTube channel? You can find me on Instagram YouTube. and Twitter, right here, Scott Dion Brown. <laughs> um, and of course right here where you're watching the show if you're on YouTube you can find me right there youtube.com slash Scott Dion Brown or uh, if you're watching on Twitch or DLive it's also Scott Dion Brown on there and uh, although on Twitch and DLive so far anyway it's mainly just been uh, the show although I'm probably going to start doing a bit of gaming live stream gaming on Ooh. there eventually there you go so that's 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 coming but um the best place to find me is right here on youtube youtube.com slash scott dion brown that's where i post in fact i just earlier this week i posted a, a short little commentary mm -hmm. video just giving some of my thoughts on the recent youtube rewind 2019 YouTube rewind youtube so youtube rewind is uh it, every year youtube does like this sort of year-end video where it's like a celebration of, mm. of, but but last year's YouTube Rewind 2018, it, the stuff that they did in it was there was a lot of controversy about like who got included in the rewind and stuff like and the messaging. It ended up becoming the most disliked video in YouTube history. Wow. YouTube 2018. Wow, that's yeah. So then this year they released YouTube 2019, re Rewind 2019, but it was um I think they were so scared of repeating what they did last time. So they really went to play it safe. And so they really made a what a lot of people are saying now is just a really boring video. Yeah, oh, okay. No. There's no way to please people. Yeah. Come on. So, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so so I, I, I made a video just sort of, you know, it's it's an interesting thing that's part of the YouTube community, YouTube culture. So I just gave a little video. If you want if you're interested in my thoughts on rewind and what they should do in the future and stuff like that, go go on my channel. I, it's well if you're on my channel now, it's right down After below. After this video. Yeah. My thoughts on YouTube Rewind 2019, you'll find it there. Um, yeah, find me on YouTube. You've been posting a lot on your YouTube. 
recently. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to to keep it fairly regular. You know what yeah. I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put together a YouTube channel, and our duet will show up on that YouTube. Channel. Yeah, that's coming too. I know. Yeah, that's true. Regina, Regina, and I are still going to do a duet in Filipino. It's coming, I promise. We've just been. It's well, now we been discovered that that Siggy Music is gonna provide the bass for that. That's right. There you go. Yeah, exactly. So, so look uh, out for my YouTube channel, guys. Uh, look <laughs> out, look out. Featuring Siggy and, and Regine Siggy on the and triangle. Scott, there you and go. <laughs> guy, one thing, though, know, it's uh, you got to keep busy. These guys are doing it. This is a great platform. I mean, not only because of friends of mine. It's uh, it's really what's needed, uh, what I call a human touch in order to stay <laughs> actually right. very honest to my work. Uh, yep. Human touch is exactly what this is. So uh, if you have any sponsors, and like I said, I'm not getting any money for this <laughs> it's radio show ad radio, radio show, show radio TV. show ad radio TV. show ad. here you can see it where, where did it go where did it go we've got it here there it is there you go get in touch people radio show ad radio show ad mm -hmm. and um on that note you think we should uh we should uh we should uh we should uh we should, uh, we should, we should Bye, yes i think we should it. i think we should call it all right everybody um thank you all so very much Yes. for being here um we appreciate you so very much make Happy sure Sunday. you guys check them out tomorrow yep on stage at 10 p.m wow <laughs> yeah, i hit the wrong thing uh -huh. come come on out tomorrow yeah it's gonna be so much fun and make sure you check out siggy watch for his uh his stuff coming out soon yes music. and um guys thank you so much you could have you know spend your sunday anyway and you chose to come and spend it here with us chatting and uh we really appreciate you coming mm -hmm. And um, we'll see you next weekend for our Christmas special. Oh, yeah, the Star Wars Christmas special coming next week. We'll when is it going to be? Star Sunday. Wars. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, 11 a.m. right here. Beautiful. On the sit down. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Happy Sunday. <laughs>